Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bongani Lala. For today, I'll be showing you how to basically create a basic calculator in C++. So for today, we'll be using our open source IDE. If you don't know what an IDE is, an IDE is an integrated development environment. So if you want to learn how to code or learn how to program basically, how to do program using your programming languages you can use code blocks code blocks is an open source ide for c so for today we'll be using it we'll be making a basic calculator to do basic calculations so at the starting point we'll be saying hashtag include iStream shift hashtag include IO stream so the IO stream stands for input and output stream and then we'll be using the standard namespace 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 std in C++ so every program starts in main in C++ everything starts in main that's where you start executing your code so here we'll have our values so I'll have int a And then I'll have int b and int c. Right. So I'll have three sets of integers. So the, the other one, actually I'll have a character. I'll have a character. Character char c. All right. So the character is the one that's going to be using the our arithmetic addition, subtraction, uh, multi multiplication. We'll be using this character. It's the one that will be joining the two numbers together. It's the one that will be used to join A and B. It's the C to get the answer. Then I'll see out. So C out C out it's the C plus plus output. So it's what will be displayed on the screen. So on the screen it's what will be shown to the user. So the user will be shown enter the first number right so the ENDL stands for end line so it will be the end of our line of code then the C in will be it's what the user inputs right so the, the the user will input a which means a is our first number <laughs> right and then we'll say see out enter your second number
then you will input B now you put in B right so now we need something that's going to we need something that's going to join the two numbers together so that we have this number plus that number equals that number right so we need something then we'll have a character that's gonna is, we, 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 we are going to switch because we want something to happen we want the user to be able to get to get the results they want based on whether they want addition or subtraction or multiplication so we'll say uh, switch we'll use a switch statement so we'll say switch C right. then we'll say case case the character it's plus actually for a very very basic calculator this is how the computer understands understands it so you can say see out if you want to add the two numbers because <laughs> i don't want to confuse the users too much i don't want to confuse the programmers too much so today i'll start off easy on the next lesson i'll give you a full tutorial i'll add on the knowledge that i'm giving you today so today i will say see out see out okay a right this is what's over displayed now when the user inputs the two numbers together let's remove this one so it's going to be plus the character right so this is going to be the character plus and then b right then this will give us an equal sign of the character also equal sign a plus b then we'll say shift d to duplicate we'll say control d to duplicate we we'll do for the rest so it's going to be minus minus So this is going to give us our arithmetic based on what we input on the computer. And then we'll run the program. Uh, there are no errors. 
then we run the program then it says enter the first number so the first number is 12 and then enter and the second number it's 12 again and it will give us 12 plus 12 is 24 12 minus 12 is 0 12 times 12 144 12 divided by 12 is equal to 1 so it this calculator basically did all the arith arithmetic so this is how you can program a simple calculator using C++ and thank you for watching so if you want me to make more videos like this and to make fully functional calculator subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of the future videos that I'll be making that are like this that will be all for today thank you very much ladies and gentlemen